Welcome to Things You Should Know, the Great War Extra Edition. These small videos are little extra videos developed to give you a little background on the Great War, whether it's uniforms, people, or weapons. So sit back as we discuss our first item, the Miralton or Busby hat and a Totenkopf badge. In an earlier video, an image of General von Mackensen was displayed with an uncharacteristic hat for our time, a Husser's Miralton hat with a Totenkopf badge. The hat and the man seem out of place nowadays, but this was a traditional hat worn by Hussar cavalry units around the world, and a Totenkopf badge used by Germans since 1740, made more famous by the German World War II SS units. I'm answering an age-old question, what is up with that hat? Hussars are a type of cavalry adopted by the Hungarians, Prussians, and many other countries, including the Allies. They were the first light cavalry to get rid of their heavy armor and shields, and instead utilize speed and mobility to great effect. They had a fearsome reputation as hard fighters, hard drinkers, and hard pillagers. Part of this replacement for armor and shields was a lighter, more fashionable clothing, including a series of similar hats referred to as Mirlitons or what the British referred to as Busby hats, resembling a slightly conical shako or tall fez hat. The military headdress was a cylindrical fur cap having a bag of colored cloth hanging from the top. The end of this bag was attached to the right shoulder and was used as a defense against saber cuts. The popularity of this headdress in its hussar form was most popular immediately before World War I. For the Austro-Hungarian hussars, there was an addition of the Totenkopf, a skull known as the death's head symbol. The symbol is old, meaning death, the defiance of death, danger, as well as our old favorite, piracy. However, it is most commonly associated with 19th and 20th century German military use. It started in Prussia as a military emblem under Frederick the Great, who formed a hussar cavalry regiment for the Prussian army. They adopted a black uniform with a Totenkopf emblazoned on the front of its militants. This occurred in the 1740s and continued in popularity for Prussian units up until World War I. Unfortunately, this is the same death's head used by Hitler's SS troops in World War II. In fact, it is said that the SS black uniforms and death's heads were not only inspired because of the Hussars' fame, but because specifically they wanted to use General von Mackensen's image to reinforce its status. This was especially true when von Mackensen in the late 1930s and early 1940s was promoting Hitler and acting as a propaganda tool in his late 80s and 90s. So there you go. This is the precursor to the SS uniforms of World War II and was still pretty common in this form during World War I. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.